Travis Wayne Goodzell. I uh, interrupt my uh, my day to uh, do a video. Uh, I was enjoying Pet Shop Boys. Uh, and their uh, their song, the way it used to be, I believe it's called. Yeah, the way it used to be. Uh, I was using listening to a, a remix version of it. <coughs> uh, this video, uh, if I uh, keep the title in my head that I'm planning, uh, goes over the top six videos on my channel. The reason why it's top six, not top ten, top five, is because the top six are the first row on YouTube. I'm uh, going over my popular ones, uh, and uh, they also are above 1,000 views. And so, yes, only six are over 1,000 views. After getting to almost 2,000 for this channel, I only have six that have made it past a thousand. Uh, whereas my other channel, which I think was over 700, I have uh, the one big one that was over 35,000 now. <coughs> Although YouTube shut that one down, that channel down. Well, the church gave them orders too. And so, uh, the biggest one is Breaking LDS News, Russell M. Nelson Changes Temple um, Covenants again, something like that. <coughs> and it's got the thumbnail of Nelson with a big old grin and uh, the infamous picture of the two ex-Mormons who are dressed in their temple robes and showing the penalty sign that was pre-1991 temple so only those of us who are old enough to have gone through the temple before 1991 know what that refers to otherwise you'd have to watch a YouTube video that shows it <laughs> uh, and then even then with all the misinformation and disinformation that's floating out there, uh, Mormons are inclined to say, no, that wasn't the way it was in the temple. No, the church is true. They don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> Would it help if I bored testimony and said, yes, that's exactly what they did. Went through May 6th, 1989 right before my mission to New York, New York went through the Los Angeles Temple so yes I can confirm that is exactly what they did uh, the interesting thing about this video that uh, I didn't know at the time because I had to first break the news <laughs> and then wait for uh, uh, Russell M. Nelson to respond <laughs> and he responded to me not to my video Nelson doesn't bother with YouTube social media posts <clears throat> no instead I have a I had a lawsuit going back then this was four months ago uh, and uh, I this is when I uh, notified the court in the case. I have another one now, so this was a previous one. And uh, in that previous case, pointed out that uh, Russell M. Nelson had changed the law of chastity. This is what the focus was. Uh, I was covering other stuff that I had heard about, with Eve getting a bigger speaking role and women no longer having to obey their husbands he may have changed that too <laughs> sorry women I guess you have to obey your husbands again <laughs> but uh, uh, 
I exposed that the law of chastity was worded in such a manner as to return to polygamy. Because it says, uh, legally and lawfully married according to his law, referring to God's law. What is God's law, Mormons? It's one man, one woman, Travis. No. What is the canon scripture for God's law of marriage? It was never taken out. <clears throat> Section 132. Ten virgins. Gimme, gimme, gimme ten virgins after midnight. Won't somebody help me chase the shadows away? So yes, Nelson in his uh, wording had taken away uh, women being obedient to their husbands and allowed for polygamy. And I pointed out that that trap that they were purposely setting for women. Pretending to give women more freedom and more exposure. Not that exposure. I'm not going back to all the things that Brigham Young did. <laughs> But a more a, Eve had a larger speaking role, and no longer needing to wear the veil over the face, which is actually a disservice to women because you guys don't understand the meaning of veils. <clears throat> but uh, nonetheless, women were deceived into thinking, "Oh, yay, church is true now." If it wasn't before, it's not now. You can't produce fruit, good fruit, from a dead tree. It can't be done. So quit trying to make the church true when previously it needs correcting. It's just that simple. <clears throat> so 4,000, uh, 500 views so far on that one. And yes, Nelson was pissed. He came out with a first presidency statement saying that because of social media <laughs> and rumors and speculations in the church, not understanding the sacred holy temple ordinances, he changed it again. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I caught him on that one. That may be actually, because last year it was done, wasn't it? So four months ago, yes, this was uh, his response. So yes, I stand corrected. Uh, so yeah, that's my number one video, exposing him for trying to establish polygamy. Again. Uh, then the next one, uh, I got a boost from my... Uh, video I talked about on the other channel, the 35,000, as I noticed people during coronavirus were now interested in latter days and all things biblical and signs and symbols. And so, uh, trying to take advantage of that, I linked uh, the videos that I did on this channel, the list and order of all LDS Mormon church, last days, signs in the heavens, or whatever. Link that uh, to that old older channel and uh, I got 3,900 views on that one that was five months ago uh, so yeah it's just an update I mean the 35,000 one that was in July 2017 uh, it was still all new to me and like I've told you in other videos, that one, I was pressured by the woman formerly called my second wife. And uh, uh, she demanded to know a specific date <laughs> of when we were returning to Missouri. And so I said, Ugh, fine, I'll find a date and make you happy. <laughs> and of course that date came, and Sunday school informed us that... Uh, the lesson for that Sunday of that date was the exodus out of America into the desert hell of Salt Lake. So, yes, that was interesting that I uh, 
made that connection, but nobody else liked it. <laughs> but I talked about the signs that I did know of at the time, which was solar eclipse and the sign of the Son of Man. Uh, but it was in the early stages, so I couldn't come right out and say, oh yeah, it's the Mormon Christ. Because Mormons have no clue. They've never even heard of the Mormon Moses, let alone Mormon Christ. But uh, Mormons are not Christian. We believe in the learning of the Jews as the basis for our religion. First Nephi, chapter 1, verse 2. So that one, uh, and another one that took fifth place uh, with 1,200 views, uh, LDS Last Days Exodus, Identifying the Mormon Signs in Heaven, something like that. I, I also connected that one to that 35, because uh, with 3,900, uh, learning more, uh, this one, the last day's sign, la LDS Last Days Exodus, I learned about the three days of darkness, uh, with the, uh, the uh, Father's Day eclipse, uh, and then found out afterward that that's not the second day of darkness. That's just another extra one that got thrown in. I mean, after all, the signs do tell us that the moon shall turn to blood, and the sun shall be darkened. And so uh, they're kind of general, meaning that there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, but the specific three days of darkness comes from Moses and the Exodus. That's where we first learn about three days of darkness. And uh, so Joel and Matthew and even John and Revelation talk about the sun shall be darkened, generally. But they're referring to Moses with the plagues the three days of darkness. The Book of Mormon picks that up as well, talking about three days of darkness when Jesus comes to America. It's not the latter days anymore. Oh, Book of Mormon's coded. Oh, it's not a real history. Oh. Yeah. And so those two videos were uh, piggybacking off of the popularity of Mormons rushing to find anything about the signs in the heavens because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints won't tell them anything. <laughs> and there's too many other Mormons who are spreading lies. Trying to capitalize. And they're getting popular. They're getting hundreds of thousands of views uh, putting out the BS. Deceiving Mormons and making them feel warm and fuzzy. Oh, okay. Yay, church is true. No, the signs in the heavens mean the church isn't true, that the church is going to collapse. <laughs> Just like the government of America is going to collapse, as we are witnessing right now. Okay, so, third. 2,700 views. LDS Last Day's Exodus has begun. This was just a quick two minute, 45 second video. Uh, it's three months ago. Uh, and uh, I started recognizing and giving warning that, hey guys, it's coming, prepare. And uh, yeah, holy crap. We're just waiting for the actual event to take place that will cause the Exodus. And if you are clueless, I recommend I refer you to the story of the Exodus of the symbol of the Mormon Moses Christ, Messiah. After the learning of the Jews. And uh, then the fourth one, uh, whenever there's a, a breaking news story, uh, this always gets attention, so it's great to capitalize uh, during such events. This was uh, Earthquake Strikes Salt Lake, Utah Valley, eight months ago. Uh, it was March 18th, because it was the day after my birthday. 2.2K. 
and uh, and so yeah, it's now long gone. So people aren't going to it anymore. It's it's a one-time thing. It's not a continuous thing, as uh, uh, the Nelson changing the temple thing was. Uh, so this earthquake one, uh, it was just a way to capitalize. I should ideally prepare to talk about it because that's just a quick little video we had an earthquake oh wow I was doing this when it happened and oh wow oh there's an aftershock oh my goodness but uh, yeah I need to be able to utilize throwing in church is evil church is criminal church is false whatever I can into those videos to try to capitalize on that uh, and then the sixth one, uh, I got a lot of angry people on this one. Remember, <clears throat> feelings are a response. They are not the cause. The response comes from a cause. And so when Mormons see the title, they should already know it's not going to be something they're going to want to hear. LDS Apostle Bednar calls for the death of Mormons. You'd think Mormons would stay away and say, ah, oh, not true, fake news, hoax, Bednar is a true prophet of God, he would never do that. Well, 1,000 views and dozens of thumbs down. <laughs> More so than Nelson changes the temple. Uh, but Bednar was part of the church's attack on Mormonism as he went and did that seminar thing and told that group of religious people that the coronavirus is taking away agency and that we need our religious freedom right to attend church as Mormons they should know better they should see right through him they should call him out as false coronavirus doesn't take away our agency. The church and Governor Herbert and Trump have caused the spread and the escalation of the virus. They have taken away our agency. And so for Bednar to cause this contention in Utah of anti-maskers, anti-science, Parents who are protesting to get their kids back into school, into the classrooms, rather than having them stay home and stay safe. That was uncalled for. And I called them out on it. And Mormons hate me for it. As I'm trying to protect their lives and their families, and instead, they'd rather follow a person who wants them dead. This is the tragedy of Mormonism. So, there you have it. Those are my top. So, uh, yeah, there's lots of other good ones. I'm hoping for videos to break out. To get people's attention you know like the church the Russian hack church was behind that it's a Mormon who's in charge of that software of cybersecurity and the church invests in that company that was used by Russia for this hack on our government and fortune 500 companies which the church is a part of and so, yes, we need to know 
did the church also get affected and hacked? Or was the church skipped because they were a part of it? We need to know this. They're not going to tell us. The news doesn't even know to know. Nobody investigates the church. I'm the only one who investigates the church. And so yes, that, the videos I've been doing lately, need to be the top ones and getting views far more than the 35,000 that I got four years ago. So, there you go.